What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol PINS for Pinterest Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. You can see some of our older levels on the chart. I wish I could tell you that earnings was gapping the stock down. However, it's just a sympathy move to big bad Facebook, who got absolutely destroyed on their earnings announcement today. So, what we're going to do is just clear the drawing set, start from scratch here. That way, we can understand understand our levels in a level-headed way, no pun intended. If we zoom in on the 30-minute time frame, the after-hour session, you can clearly see basically falling off of a cliff, right? Whenever this happens, we want to know where the overnight low is, the anticipated opening print, as well as today's low of day. If we take a closer look at the daily time frame now, uh, and again, it's very ironic that this is happening right before their earnings announcement. We'll see if that's two uh, negative catalysts, two double whammies right in a row. Regardless, whenever we're dealing with gaps up or down, scenario number one is the gap and trap. And in this particular instance, we would look for an open here that fails to take out the overnight low. So a failure for more sellers to step up, essentially trading long back through the open on any sort of bounce to fill the gap up towards 27. Now, I like the fact that this is roughly the bottom end of this range. So to me, it's a beautiful target. Anyone who tried to get long in this area looking for a stronger bounce in Pinterest, if they're looking for a break even trade, that's the first place that they're going to sell. It's basically overhead supply theory, right? Where does it make sense? for those people to get out if they realize that they're wrong and the downtrend is going to continue right there, right? So I really wouldn't push my luck up and over 27 if there's any gap fill uh, in the first place. The flip side of this coin, scenario number two, is the gap and go. And what that looks like is opening here, bearish acceptance off the open, lower highs, basically anything that sets up a breakdown of the overnight low should take us to the next daily area of support. So let's find that together, putting that back on auto, scrunching it up. Looks like we're going to have to grab some more time here, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just uh, too lazy. There we go. Yep, it is off to the left. Should have scrunched a little bit more. Uh, in terms of supports underneath 20, uh, 24, roughly, we're looking back in here. Uh, what do we got? So I'm going to put that on around 2386. We'll see how that aligns in just a second here. After that, it's really just the double bottom low from here and here around 2018. And I wouldn't push it much further than that, right? So going back on over to the recent price action, let me adjust that so it's actually visible on the screen. And there we go. So that first target that I pointed out is just below the overnight low. Wouldn't really read into it too, too much. But after that, you can see the doors really open up for that 20 target. And because we're in a pretty solid daily downtrend, I wouldn't write it off the table as being something that Pinterest is not capable of, right? Sure, that would be a nasty daily bar, but given the catalyst here uh, and what the Facebook earnings call sort of implies for companies like Pinterest, not looking fantastic. So do keep in mind both scenarios. Don't get overly attached to the downside or to the upside. Just follow the framework rules. It's going to keep you out of trouble. That's all I've got for you in Pinterest. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.